words regarding parahemophilia. You, I've already told in the previous module that parahemophilia is due to deficiency of factor 5. So, factor 5 deficiency produces parahemophilia. Inheritance is autosomal recessive. So, this also can occur in males as well as females. Features include mild to moderate mucocutaneous bleeding and muscle hematomas. Rarely, you can find hemarthrosis. In addition, you will find that females can have severe menorrhagia. Investigations show prolonged APTT as well as prolonged PT because factor 5, if you remember the diagram which I had shown in the previous module, it lies in the common pathway. Activation of factor 10A, it, it is generally considered to be a part of the common pathway and so prolonged PT and APTT both will be seen in these patients. Treatment will be FFP in a dose of same 10 to 15 ml per kg every 12 hours in severe deficiency. Problem with parahemophilia is they have a short half-life in stored FFP and sometimes when FFP is not available, you can even use platelet concentrate because platelets also contain factor 5. So, platelets can be used for transfusion. So, you can be asked this point as a MCQ. Which coagulation disorder can also respond to platelet transfusion? The answer will be parahemophilia or factor 5 deficiency.